Hey friends, so today I'm gonna show you my favorite Disney World Resort food. Like, I love this place. It is just my type of food. The Sasagula Float Works at the French Quarter. I love it. They have po' boys, jambalaya, oh, ah, beignet cheeseburger, and my absolute favorite, gumbo. Look at it. There it is. A nice big pot of gumbo, and I think that's chicken noodle soup. That's why I'm here to get some good old gumbo and show you a little bit of the resort but mainly the gumbo and cornbread. So the gumbo and the jambalaya aren't the only things that draw me to this resort. I actually just generally like it here. It's so pretty and it's so quiet. It's probably the quietest Disney World resort. Listen, listen to me, I'm like talking with like a whisper. I'm like, it's quiet like a library. But I love it here. Look at the rooms and how they're just so nifty looking like definitely new orleans nifty looking oh i like that it's a new orleans nifty kind of ward and all of the wonderful green scenery and they have a lot of nice fountains if you haven't noticed in a lot of the b-rolls that i do i really really like to b-roll fountains i just like staring at fountains actually and generally and generally and generally this fountain right here it's not running but it is pretty the whole area is just pretty and not a sound do you hear anything nothing quietness this is a resort i definitely could just hang around at and just people watch and enjoy but for now i really need to get something to eat and that gumbo has been calling me like it's been calling me like the ocean. Those fancy horse hang-ups are pretty nifty too. This whole entire corridor is. They have other stuff like pizza and pasta and burgers in case you don't like spicy food but if you're not staying at this resort and you come all the way over here to eat it's probably because you like yourself some Cajun food or some Bayou lasagna. Bayou, Bayou shrimp and grits. Thank you. Ah, gumbo. Got my gumbo, my jambalaya, and my side of rice. Now I need to find a cozy little spot to enjoy these nifty little things. Perfect. Look at it. Oh yes, that's some good gumbo. I like mine with rice. But some people just eat it with bread or cornbread, but this is just too good. Oh, yes. I just dropped some on my shirt. Man. Here's the good old jambalaya. And this is so good. Look at that. But a little thing I like to do is make gumbalaya. Oh yeah. Get in there. Every little last drop and grain. Perfect. Might as well just throw the rest of that in there. <laughs> yeah. It's actually not that expensive either. That's why I like it a lot. My whole meal cost me $6.50. That's not too bad. It is the cup version. You can get a bowl, which is a little bit bigger for $8. But I always just get the rice on the side and then put it in there because then you get a lot more. That was just so good. Really hit the spot. I just love it. Oh, wait. I got a little more. Get a little more here. Got it. Ah. That gumbo was amazing. But now it's time to work off a little bit of those calories from the gumbo. And I have the perfect thing that helps you work off all those wanted Disney calories. Right here. These are bound to burn off at least like a thousand calories in two minutes. Oh. Oh yeah. This is perfect. 
really feel the weight just dropping off me. Ugh. That was much needed. Oh, gotta sanitize. Thank you. So that's about it for me. Uh, just wanted to take you out to lunch with me. Hope you guys had fun. I enjoyed my gumbo a lot. And I love hanging out here. I like this resort, very fun. It's starting to rain real bad outside. That's why I'm like, oh, well, I better hit the road soon. I can see the umbrellas coming in. So, love the life you live. And uh, we'll see you next time. Ah, the Magical Express. I wish you could just ride that whenever you'd like. Take a trip to the airport and back. Look at those wind chill vipers doing their thing.